Good Lord, they've not even won an election yet, and already Labour have got their hands in our pockets rifling for money. In his leader's speech today, Flip Flop Starmer's going to promise a load of new towns and houses, and a load of extra police. What is broken can be repaired, what is ruined can be rebuilt, we'll be told. We're all going to live in palaces full of free stuff. Sir Keir's fixed it all for us. On top of that, he's going to employ a load of metro mayors with access to enhanced powers across the UK because it's worked so well with Sadiq Khan in London. With knife crime through the roof and road users taxed into oblivion, makes perfect sense to roll it out across the nation. That's what we need, isn't it? More local government. Now that Birmingham Council's multicultural crooks have siphoned off billions of pounds of taxpayers' money to their diverse friends and family for imaginary professional services and gone bankrupt. All our troubles are over. Labour are about to get into office. Let the good times roll. I mean what we all want is lower taxes, reduced public spending and less state interference in our lives. And it's patently clear we're not going to get it from the consocialists who've been robbing us all blind for 13 years now. So in desperation to get rid of this incumbent bunch of Tory crooks, the electorate are going to vote in a different and palpably worse bunch of Labour crooks. I think that's what's called cutting your nose off to spite your face, isn't it? Things are so bad right now that people are under the delusion that they can't get any worse. Well, they can, and they're about to under flip-flop Starmer and that hate-filled, narcissistic union puppet Rayner. Get ready for more public sector pay strikes, more layers of NHS management, rampant benefit fraud. You think inflation's bad now? After a year of Labour, you'll be paying 20 quid for a box of eggs. As bad as tax rates are currently, at least you actually get to keep a small amount of your income. Don't think that that can't change. There's no end to the number of imaginary services our wonderful elected representatives can tax you for. And if it seems like you're getting absolutely nothing for your money, if it seems like you're giving the state more than ever and getting less than ever in return, just be grateful that you've still got a job. Because that could change too. Labour, Tory, makes no difference, does it? Increasingly, the money you earn doesn't belong to you. If you want to say anything, you've got to be careful who's listening. If you want to go anywhere, you've got to overcome escalating costs, hellish delays and cancellations. And if you happen to wonder what happened to liberal democracy, your state-sponsored legacy media will gaslight you into thinking you never had it in the first place. Please do like and subscribe. And for exclusive content, support me on Patreon.